hello! This is my first time vlogging, so please be gentle. Um, introducing Junk Food Reviews, where I take an anime off a country roll and give you the basics to basically decide for you whether you should watch it or not. Anyways, yeah. So, the anime that I got to watch, so dear to my heart, was Etotama, and I have no clue what I watched. Does this keep going? Should I keep going? <laughs> that was my cameraman. <laughs> I no longer have a cameraman. This is great. I'm great. I'm tired. It's fantastic. Okay, so let's start off with the story. From the first episode, you can basically grasp just how fucking insane this is. It starts off with this random boy just going to the city, going to go move out on his own. It's good, it's good. Then a bunch of girls come up, they're all like furries, like with the ears and shit, and then like, they're gone. They meet him and then they leave, and he's just like, okay, I'm gonna go to my apartment, and that's cool, until he meets a glory hole, and he sticks his hand in it. Okay, I don't know why he does that, but then this cat girl comes up, and she's like the sociopath, and then, what else happens? I don't know. The concept is like, kiss excess meets fruit basket. Like, the girls in it that he meets, I should have mentioned this earlier, I'm very sorry, are the 12 zodiacs, and they all have characteristics of each zodiac. So that's like interesting, it's like a fine concept or whatever. But, I don't know, man, it's just so fucking weird. Uh, the, the humor is super lazy, is one point, one way of putting it. Um, a lot of the time, you, I found myself asking, where's the joke? Um, the only time I really laughed was when my least favorite character almost got the smack shit out of her. That's not a word. Let not say. The smack shit out the shit smacked out of her. Here we go. <laughs> Shut up, cameraman. <laughs> or person. Um, what other points can I talk about? Oh, I had so many like things. I should have had a list. Oh my goodness. Um, the animation is average at best. Um, it's fine. The only time it really shines is when they go into this, okay, yes, I can talk about something about the story first. That's what we should talk about. Okay, so there's this point where you discover that these 12 zodiacs go into this battling arena. And in this battling arena, they battle the shit out, and if they win, they get to get the other person's token that allows them to go into the battle arena. And the way that they um, battle is that they get energy from people that is called like a soul null. I don't care. I don't like this. I don't. I didn't take note of what it was called, but we'll call it a soul null for now. Um, and you get this by getting someone to thank you or feel like appreciative of what you do. And <laughs> Yeah, wow, this is really all over the place. Um, yeah, so you, you get this energy and this allows you to battle. And what's so interesting about it is, um, well, not really interesting about it, but kind of bizarre about it that I found very weird, is that the, the main character, the boy, um, he is a really good supplier of gratitude, I guess. And so, this cat character who, if you have what, like if you know about the story of the Zodiacs, is sort of like the outcast. It was the character that wasn't allowed to be part of the Zodiacs because the rat tricked them. And so the cat is very envious and wants to become part of the Zodiac. Um, yeah, anyway, so she tries to manipulate the boy into being grateful to her to get powers from him, and she does this in the weirdest way. For example, in the second episode, I only watched three. I couldn't watch more than three. She basically, she leaves a nice little note saying, oh, I'll make you some breakfast. And so he gets up, he's like very thankful and everything. And then it turns out she doesn't make breakfast for him. She's apparently cooking two of the other 12 um, 
the Tear the Child of Zodiacs for breakfast, which it sounds a lot funnier the way I'm saying that it actually happened. But anyways, um, so brief, I guess I'm gonna just sum this up because I'm just so, I don't know, I'm, I'm that, that thing wrecked me. Um, the animation, okay, it only really shines in the battle scenes because it's like CGI animation but it's above average CGI animation so it's sort of like, okay still. Um, the voice acting, whatever, I guess it works for how crazy it, it is. Um, the comedy is stupid, and the characters, stupid. Story, stupid. So yeah, um, don't watch this. Thank you for this, watching me do this. Anyways, goodbye. Adios.